Hey everyone, this looks just like a normal SVS subwoofer. This is the SB1000. Apart from, it is sat comfortably on top of the brand new ISO Acoustics Aperta subwoofer isolation unit. Now what this little unit does, as, I'm, as I explained on a video just a couple of days ago, it has acoustic isolation. Oh, good suction on these uh, rubber feet as well. It has acoustic isolation through rubber bushes. Now, these little pads, as we can possibly see here, move with vibrations and move with obviously pressure. This sits on the floor and any forward facing subwoofer, and I'm saying forward facing, we've experimented with the RELs, we've experimented with the REL T5X. It absolutely works, but it's a little bit clunky. And it's only clunky because the downfiring sub itself needs obviously freedom from these uh, from these isolation pucks themselves, and the feet on the actual rail are obviously in a, in a square. I can't make this be square. <laughs> uh, it's not set out as a square whatsoever. It's longer than it is wider, um, and in doing so, obviously, it gives a great footprint for a standard solid base subwoofer. But for the rails, I have been personally struggling. You are better off looking at something like the Gaia 3 feet for a rail T5X or a T7X if you want to have the same acoustic treatment. But if you have got a solid um, forward facing um, subwoofer like the SVS SB1000 here, this is a great little unit. These cost £149. Um, ISO Acoustics have been around for a good number of years. They're a, they're a North America slash Canada based company. Um, they have specialised in acoustic treatment throw, from things such as speaker feet. They have um, turntable isolation plinth themselves with, again, the acoustic control built into them. They also have speaker stand isolation. So we've got things like the Aperta 155s which our Oberon 1 sit on. And then we've also got the um, the Aperta 200s, which our bigger bookshelf sit on, and the Aperta 300s, which our centre speaker sit on. They, they've created a range of products to basically elevate and stop that transfer of low and medium frequency into furniture. And why that's important for a subwoofer, something like this bad boy, this will play great music and great scenes from films with great impact however it does so through a whopping um, single cone driver now that driver itself is more than able to pressurize you know we're in a um, a four and a half meter by four meter demo room here this 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 subwoofer is more than suitable and capable of basically giving this room mass impact and it does so, obviously, with really tight controlled bass. Now, if I left the subwoofer as it is onto this carpet, yes, the carpet will definitely do some form of dampening. That's without any shadow of a doubt. However, underneath here, I've got floorboards. And under those floorboards, I've got joists. And on, underneath those joists, I've got a ceiling to someone's unit downstairs beneath us. Now... We have good relationships with our neighbours, as I'm sure you all do at home as well. We want to maintain that and we don't want mass transfer into the hollow cavities underneath us. All that happens is you get a massive base extension. You end up with super low down rumble being passed through the entire room. Things start to rattle. The walls start to shake. Underneath us, they can hear the sub more than anything else, even them themselves thinking. We don't want that to happen. And what typically happens is we end up winding back the gain. We don't want to wind back the game. We want to enjoy our subwoofers. We want to hear the full dynamic and sonic frequency that these units can produce the way they were intended to. And in doing so, we have to decouple the actual subwoofer, the speaker from the floor surface. And that's where the apert or subwoofer stand comes in. Now it can go on to hard surfaces at the minute. It's just on one of our, um, I think it's a solid steel hyper spike rack, which we use for um, some of the bigger subs. We've got a REL S812 there at the moment that normally sits on here. I'm just using it as a, uh, as a demonstration plinth right now for a hard surface. But if it was going on to a soft surface like a carpet, there are these spikes. It comes with a set of four. These go on, they've got a really, uh, really, really tight uh, spike on them. They'll happily go deep into the pile. And then obviously the substand would sit on there as well. 
and doing so again yes you're not sinking in the rubber will then push against something hard and you will get acoustic isolation we've been experimenting now for three days i've played with svs 1000s 2000s 3000s and 3000 micros I have played with the Rel TX series. Like I say, I'm not as convinced on there. I think you need the Gaia three feet on those instead. But it does definitely work on these types of forward-facing units. Have a look online. They're available. They're £149. Delivery is £7.99. Uh, but if you can find something a little bit cheaper, over the £150 mark, uh, we offer free uh, two to four business day delivery with DHL as well. Um, www.yorkshireav.co.uk and like I say this is the ISO Acoustics Aperta subwoofer stand and in terms of the retail package that it comes with it all comes in a, a nice styrofoam box and obviously they're very pretty itself on the front www.yorkshireav.co.uk we're online we're also in store we have ourselves a, a dedicated home cinema showroom as well as a very very large and extensive two channel showroom here as well we've got other iso acoustic products out on display if you're interested in seeing what else is available in the range we've got the czar zen ones the czar zen twos these are the turntable isolation platforms we've got the aperture 200 loudspeaker stands so they're for your slightly bigger bookshelves we've got the gaia threes that you can see here and last but not least if we come around got some fantastic Dali Obron 1C active speakers and these sit beautifully on top of the ISO Acoustics Aperta 155 stands as well. So as you can see, lots in the range, lots here to have a look at. Take a look online, yorkshireav.co.uk.